so far we got off of the plane and they put us on a bus and normally that bus takes us to the main terminal but instead this time the bus um, took us to a big tent that they have set up with chairs and desk and people and you guys just wait for me on the other side They have us uh, go through these big contraptions. I don't know if you can see them. Where is it there? And it reads, it reads your temperature to see if you have a fever. And it like sanitizes you. There's like bunches of, a bunch of smoke and things like that. Okay. How, how does he do? Oh, yes, you can go through. Oh, you... okay. Go, 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 go. Go. Okay, you look here. Okay, it's good. Normal they... temperature. It's good. Stranger. Go, go. Go. Go through. I am. Mine is like 36.2, what does that mean? Okay, what do we do now? Everyone's just sitting down. Hold on, hold on. Hi. Uh, Hi. Uh, Do you have a code here? Uh, do you have a QR code, this one? Have you registered online for the medical test? Um, no. No, okay, no problem. This is not a problem. Sit here, they will give you a code for the medical test. Okay. okay. Sit down. Thank you. You're supposed to... Hey. And we're supposed to um, register online to take a test, to take our COVID test. But of course, I didn't know about registering online for the test. So now they have to come to me and tell me how to register so I can take my test. So I'll keep you guys posted on my entry into Africa. So we got past the first part of the screening, which is, uh, well, the first and the second part, we went through the big uh, contraption where it uh, gave us the forehead thermometer check, and then it sanitized us, um, and then we had to wait in the big tent and have them put our passport, our luggage, and our flight information into a system. Hush into a system and it generated a number and then once you get that number it takes you to they send you to another big tent which you can see this tent here it has cubicles set up where they give you the test the covid test and the screening and so because we are family we're sitting in the back waiting to be called as a group. I'm just letting you guys see here how it is going. And so there's cubicles set up and you can see with the cubicles there's a nurse in there and then there's a traveler and they're doing the screening. And then I don't know what happens after the screening. I don't know if we wait and how long we wait. I don't know any of those things. I'll keep you posted. No, you can't escape. So we're taking over and we're going to take over. I 
I love you. Okay, she's saying sit down. Sit down there, just right there. It's one at a time. Just be patient. And we took a test in the States and it was negative. But we take one here too. We. Hey, sit, sit down. Okay. It's for my husband. He wants to know everything that is happening. Mm -hmm. It's okay or no? It's okay? You tell me. For me? Okay. Okay. <laughs> First my finger, now my mouth. Mm. Mm. Oh, I don't know. I, ca I can't see you. Ah. I The result. One to two days. Oh, today. Ah, oh, okay, good. Say bye. Tony, Tony, come.
It's finished. It's finished. It's So after we took our test and our mouth like strep test and on our fingers, we have to wait about 20 minutes for the test to be finished. Maybe 10 minutes, 10, 20 minutes and the test results come through and they put them in the system. And uh, so, so far, me and Resumenthu are negative and we're waiting for the results to come back for the other two kids. So we got our test results back. We tested all negative in America. Here in Benin, three of us tested negative. One of us tested positive. One of the children tested positive for COVID. And so now I'm waiting to see what the process is. They're saying that we could all go home together, possibly, or they will keep him. Uh, and I could come back for him, I don't know. They're saying they might also give him a treatment. And then after he gets the treatment, we can go. You guys know I am against vaccines. I am against shots. I am against all types of medication, especially around COVID. None of it is tested or proven. And so I'm having a really tough time right now. I'm really struggling. I don't know what's going to happen. I can only keep you posted. take us to the house that we have. One of the good things about Kotonu is that I was able to book an Airbnb. So we have an Airbnb that we book and I'm waiting for the driver to come and get us. Another thing is when you come out from here, this is the door right here that you come out of with your luggage. You keep traveling and in this corridor here, there's an ATM machine. You can see right there is the ATM machine. There's that one, and if that one's not working, you can go down there. Right there is another ATM machine and get cash. So before you leave the airport, you'll be able to get some cash, some SEFA to help you on your journeys. You guys forgive me, I'm tired. You guys know I've been traveling for about three days and I just wanna lay down. So we had to give uh, Akati's passport because he tested positive on the preliminary test for COVID. And we come back in three days and get the more thorough test and pick up his passport then. So Monday, we will come back. So that's it, I'm tired. I'll talk to you guys soon. But we're here. <laughs> that's the important thing is that we made it. We're here and it's, I'm thankful.
peace family so i just wanted to give an update before i went to bed it's the end of day one in benin and um thank you for all the calls all the messages with everyone i was like giving live updates <laughs> i didn't know what was going on and uh you know i'm always on guard and ready for the bs you know uh from the government or the powers that be so i was just reacting but um we made it okay we did have to go through a series of testing and uh one of the kids tested positive and so we had to stay there instead of having to quarantine for two weeks they told us to self quarantine <sighs> excuse me it's been a long day they told me to self quarantine for three days and come back on monday and get the results and when i came back on monday to get the results they will give me his passport back so i had to give up his passport to make sure that I came back and got the results. If his results are positive, they said that they would um, have to give him medication and he'd have to quarantine. Um, but if his results are negative, then, you know, we just go about our business. So uh, either way it goes, you know, he's going to be in the house close to everything. He, uh, I got my luggage. And once I got my luggage and got to the room, y'all who's been ordering for me, y'all know what this is. So we all just took us a little dose. And he got an extra big one. That's the Alome Tonic. Those of you who don't know about the Alome Tonic, it's a it's a miracle worker when it comes to uh reversing the um symptoms of covid nineteen in the body so um yeah he's but he's not even having symptoms that's the thing I just think it's a false positive um like i said we I've been medicating these kids uh holistically in preparation for this and we just took a COVID test right before we got all the play like a, a week before he got on the plane and it was negative um you know they did have a couple days of like celebration where they had sugar and too much starch and things like that uh right before we left but I don't think that made him susceptible, but they said sometimes COVID is in the bloodstream, but he's strong enough to fight it and he'll never have symptoms, but he'll just have it in his body. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's a false positive, but he doesn't have any symptoms. He's not feverish. He's not like he has no symptoms. So um, we will see. But all is well. As you can tell, we made it to the Airbnb. And uh, I'm about to go to sleep. We went and got some food tonight. Hopefully tomorrow I can go grocery shopping. The place we have is super nice. I like it. Um, I didn't know Koto New had Airbnbs. Now that I know... Like I said, it's super, super, super cute. I like it. So, I'm going to have to uh, to let you guys see it tomorrow. I'm tired for right now. I'll talk to you guys later if you guys have any questions about the process I went to. Because I know quite a few of you are going to be traveling this way in the next couple of days to meet up with me. Uh, message me. Okay. Peace.
And as you can see, there are plenty, plenty of people here. All of these people are here for the same, same reason. And it appears that once we um, get our results, then we have to go and pay for the testing. So I came with a group of people. So I'm in line waiting because the line is so long. All of these chairs here, we are waiting. Let me see if I can show you. All of these chairs here behind me, we're all waiting to go pay and uh, so they're looking for his passport now. or looking for his test result and um, once they get their test result they'll give it to me and I'll be sitting here in line and then I'll take the result and they pay for it and hopefully might be another process where I have to go in, take my receipt to go get his actual physical passport, but we're just waiting. I'll keep you posted on the process. 